Hi everyone, I'm making this video to show you how to automate steps in all the Excel files and sheets in a folder using Power Automate instead of Macro. If you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button to support me to make more videos to help other people just like you. If this video has helped you, any donations to support this channel are welcome by using the PayPal link in the description below. So today I'm just going to show you uh, how to um, do a simple function like um, highlight some cells and then put a tick box border to every sheet right in this file as well as all the files in this in one folder. So the first step it's use get files in folder. Then you key in the location of the folder. Filter by xtrick.xlsx. Then use for each current file in files, which is all the files in the folder. Launch Excel, right? To open the current file, then you get all the Excel worksheets. Um, let me open this first. Right. Launch Excel and open the following document. Then, document path is this current file. Make instant visible. Then, you get all Excel worksheets. From the Excel instance, which means the file, and then you do for each current sheet in um, sheet names. Right? Store into current sheet. Then for each current sheet in sheet names, set active Excel worksheet. Right? Excel insert active worksheet with name. Worksheet name is uh, current sheet. Then select cells in Excel workshop. So Excel instance will be Excel instance range of select range of cells. So start column C, row column row, start row one, end column E, and row five. Right? This one you can uh, edit. And then you can send keys, right? So I will show you how to record the keys. So um, go to tools, go, go to tools, recorder, right? Then you record, right? Alternate H for home, P, and T. So it's recorded. Click on finish. Hmm. You can see the send keys is recorded here. All right. You can delete the rest. Delete the, the rest, right? And delete. So I've got one already here, right? So let me open this one. So these are the recorded key. Make sure you select send keys to window instance slash handle. Windows instance Excel instance. So um, delete this redundant one. So you wait for three seconds in between uh, each sheet because uh, Excel moves too fast. It uh, it, uh, it 
it's better to wait for three seconds in between sheets. Uh, <clears throat> then after that, use the function to close Excel. Excel instant, right? And then uh, save documents. Right? Let me go ahead and uh, run. So you will open each file, then go to each sheet, right, and put the borders. So it's all done now. So if I go to the folder and open each um, sheet, you can see that there are borders now in uh, from uh, for, for the selected views that I have selected in uh, yeah, Corinth column C1 to column E205. I hope this video has helped you. Please remember to subscribe, like the video and feel free to donate. I see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye guys.